Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about Medusa because uh, I have already spoken some videos about Echidna and definitely if you're using Echidna it, it really is crucial to, to, make, to take advantage of Medusa as well uh, because basically Medusa is inspired of, on, on Echidna and it, you don't need actually to write the specific for Medusa you reuse the ones written for Echidna so what we will do today is go into the repository where I wrote the test for Echidna. We will configure Medusa and we will get it ready for running for our test. So yeah, some of the features they claim here. So yeah, Medusa is a tool from Trail of Beats. And yes, they say here is parallel fuzzy and testing methodologies across multiple workers. I mean, it's what's the benefits in general? I, from my point of view, it's much faster. I like a lot the um, the logs, not the logs, well the 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 results basically. When it's failing, it's showing actually some nice and clear logs. While as in the hidden sometimes it's it's a bit not that much clear. To be fair, it's a combination of both. I think it's really good to to use them if you're already writing with with a hidden. So for those that don't have it installed yet, I have here just on dirty the the notes that I that I made while installing. Of course, you have them here, the installation part and so on. Yet I found some some things that that I had to add, so that's why I want to go in in my notes. And yeah, it's uh, just follow the um, installation command. Uh, you can also download it. They have a binary in the. Uh, in the repository, actually, I think I I downloaded it, and then when you run it, yeah, just make sure you have one of the frameworks for compiling. You will have to to use them for compilation and go. You need to have installed go. So yeah, the thing is, you need to clone this repository. I will add the the link in the description, and then you run go build while while in there. And this is what it does, if I remember properly, it, yet, it creates another binary. Yeah, and what you need to do then is to add the directory to your path. So yeah, you just go and yeah, you can open the in Mac the terminal and do, I actually send you this. You can write this command to the path where the binary was added. And yeah, you add it to your bash or, or uh, bash rc or, or this one depending on the one you're using and on windows you can go to system properties environment variables and edit the path variable and then then go you, you will you know what you will we will see this as we in the in the vs code so it will be more it will be clearer so let's go here what you already see it open, basically in the previous lessons we went through how to use a heat now in assertion mode and I've, I'm basically reusing the, um, the contract, just call it differently and what we are going to do is, well I just did actually an extra verification here but just for the sake of adding something because I saw this value was not used uh, from the, the one from calculate so once you have your Hina environment prepared, let's say, even though that's, yeah, you have your config file and, and so on. So it's very easy. You just, after doing the previous installation, you come here and you need to run the Medusa init. And it says process configuration successfully. So it generates the Medusa JSON and it is here. So yeah, here it's basically it's like if you would see the um, all the commands, all the possibilities that you have for a hidna, that you can add all those flags for different, or you can add it also in the config YAML file, but you have them all here at once, and you can edit those that you need. In this case, the ones that we care about for now, it's here in the deployment order we're going to need to pass. The, the the contract that we want to execute so what our tests are then for now those you can you can leave it you can set of course some test limit 
to to yeah to control that and since in this case we are we are using let me see yeah assertion mode then we need to go to medusa we have assertion testing is by default false so let's switch it to true and somewhere here yeah we have property testing true let's set it for now as false and save it if i'm correct it should be enough so yeah we have this test it's just it's not too relevant it's just increasing and doing some assertion that it's the counter smaller than than the previous one and so on i just want to run it to see to show you how how it looks and maybe i will run it also with a hidna to compare so yeah let's run it it's basically with medusa fast of course if you don't create the medusa json with a medusa init or if you don't use it you can also add some flags here and it is on the on their um here somewhere but they recommend yeah you can add it like that the flags but they do recommend to use the the medusa json so yeah that's what we do what we want to do so when you run it oh it's even going to fail actually at the moment i don't care much but as i mentioned earlier the logs are are pretty nice it's some colors here it is kind of organized it's going to tell you well the information that it passed and and so on and and the reason why it fell in this case is probably because of the the assertion is not true and this is mainly it we will get in the future in more um we will get into checking the coverage for the bugging and so on but for now it's enough so you can set it up and you can start using it i also thought of showing you in a more uh, well, uh, bigger let's say code that i have i don't mind this warning it's just about the it could be restricted to view but for instance here uh, earlier today i i decided to also add medusa in it this is just some some tests i created for for practicing creating variants and yeah i thought of of running it in this case those were property based tests so not an assertion that's why they are returning a value and not asserting so in this case we would like so that you see you can add it to an existing framework that you have with a hina test so the same you just do medusa in it come to medusa json and again here we need actually the property testing so it's true and make sure that this fits the the prefix of your test and we need to make sure that the yeah, assertion testing is false and we are hitting yes the hidden simple amm so yeah just let's see let's run it and see what we get yeah so in yeah here you will have all the tests that pass all the information it's the amount of workers used and so on and you can also add some even for the bugging, but we will get in the bugging previous, I mean, in next videos. So this is, this is it for now. I hope you found this useful or interesting. And yeah, this is just the beginning. So I wanted to introduce it so that you guys start playing with it. And then we will start in, for in coming videos to, to get deeper into it. So if you like it, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next videos and hit the like button, guys. So thank you and take care. Bye.